It's about time to kind it of is. warm up into the season. This weekend we had a cold drop, so we kind of fell in that fall is around the corner. Not here. Well, I guess it is. <laughs> and here congratulations. Now. <laughs> congratulations is in order for Maggie, too. She's now an author of a book, oh, Once Upon a Pumpkin. Right you. there. It's pretty much your brand, and now it is a book. That's awesome. Yeah, did thank you, you so much. Did you ever think this would be a, a, a part of your path and journey? I didn't. I didn't really think pumpkin was going to be the journey, but there are so many things to do with pumpkin. So I really wanted to put that into 50 different recipes of different and unique things. And that's what can things. be found in, nice. in the book. Exactly, Fantastic. 50 different ones. Okay, and so, I brought some of my favorites. Oh, well, let's do it. So pumpkin spice, as we know, it's everywhere. So let's dive into what you brought here. All right. And we should also mention, because <laughs> it's a visual medium that we work in, but the smell, I'm telling you, the yeah. senses are, are so really fall. kicking in It smells in like on fall. It's it's such fantastic. a fall scent. Yeah, so the infamous pumpkin spice latte. Now, I hate to hate, but if you're gonna get this at like Starbucks or a coffee shop, it's going to have over 40 grams of sugar. So this is my healthier, wow. homemade, wow. no sugar added That's a pumpkin lot of sugar. spice latte. I know, right? That's a lot of sugar. This one is super simple. So I just used Libby's 100% pure pumpkin, which is harvested here in Illinois, mm -hmm. really close, and um, <laughs> coffee, and then you can do any sort of milk of choice. I chose almond milk here, but then, of course, a little sprinkle yeah. of pumpkin pie on there for some more, there and go. start your morning off with some fall pumpkin flavor. Pumpkin pie spice, you can find that at Trader Joe's, huh? That's yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. tell us what this is. So staying on our breakfast trend, these are really good. So they're pumpkin oat breakfast cookies. They've got dried cranberries, pumpkin, Pumpkin seeds. Taste it, don't you? Yeah, I do. Oh, good. Oh, <laughs> that good. fall yeah. flavor, right? Mm -hmm. And they're just really lightly sweetened. Again, homemade, healthier version. They go perfectly with that latte. It's not very sweet at all, which is a good thing. That's yeah, the point. Yeah, for sure. And relatively healthy, which is also incredibly important. Exactly. Yeah. Pumpkin is packed with nutrition, vitamin A, C, fiber. Why not in the morning? Have that. There you go, fiber, with flush your way <laughs> out. All right, what do we got next? Here? So, we can't have fall without pumpkin bread, and I brought my favorite one from Simple mm. Mills. This is their pumpkin muffin and bread mix. So, it's really versatile, too. I made those little pumpkins oh, out of that. it as well, and it's just eight simple ingredients. All of their products use nothing artificial ever. Again, that real fall taste. Real pumpkin, sweeten it up with some chocolate chips Jordan? here. That looks awesome. Maggie, Does what's, this have your name what's, on it? what's laced in the middle of this these is things? A little right bit here? of frosting. A little bit of, yeah, a touch I like of frosting. It, a little there. bit of fun. That's fantastic. Yeah. Let's get back to healthy on this next one here. So, this is just exploring the savory side of pumpkin with oh, some wow. pumpkin hummus. Okay, I'll explore. Pumpkin yeah. hummus, huh? Definitely. And this is so great to put together for like a fall get together, Saturday game day. I love like putting a spread like this together, just kind of snack on it all day. Okay. Again, using Simple Mills, sprouted seed crackers. Now, now hold yeah. on. We've been talking about dogs <laughs> for a good portion of the show today, and dogs involved in social media. I plugged all my outlets. Yeah. Is this dog friendly how we're finishing here, Maggie? What's we going are, on here? we are. So, if you didn't know, dogs actually love pumpkin too, and it's good for them, it's good for their digestion. So, this is a super simple recipe that's in my book for pumpkin. Look at the, can you show, can you lift up the treats? pan and show yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> you can get fancy fantastic. with a little that's pan cute. like this. That is How cute awesome. is this? Amazon and um, really simple ingredients that humans can eat too, but they're totally dog safe and pooches can enjoy pumpkin okay, spice too. Smell it? So it's, it you can eat it, she like, said. Yeah. Um, you can eat it, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can, yeah, yeah, it's yeah like it is. They love it. My dog Jordan. loves it. I knew you would take one for the team. <laughs> what do you it's think? It's good. There's or peanut it butter like in there. Food. Peanut butter. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You can taste the peanut butter and the pumpkin. My Probably healthier for your dog as well. Exactly. That's Just simple, really like. super simple ingredients. Pumpkin hummus, doggy treats, <laughs> pumpkin bread, <laughs> cookies, lattes. It's good. <coughs> even cupcakes with the frosting. I love it. I love it. Really all right, well, stuff. Maggie, thank you so thank much. Thank you so we much. We certainly appreciate it. Make sure you keep up with all of her recipes on Instagram at Once Upon a Pumpkin. Her new book, Once Upon a Pumpkin, is now available on Amazon.